4.32 a.m. June 5th. I had a, uh, a wonderful night with, with her a few nights ago. It wouldn't have been last night. It would have been the night before. We got to have fun. We got to talk. We got to, you know, be positive with each other. And I thought things were going okay. And then find out there's fucking people talking shit about me who don't even know me. Don't hang out with me. Don't have any association with me whatsoever. Nor were they around me or these girls that they're talking about that I allegedly slept with. One in particular that I never in a million years slept with. <laughs> Things that... Things that put a damper on my uh, friendship with 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 her. When I say with her or for her, her I'm talking about the mother of my younger two kids. Like I don't know if the mic picked that up. I really hope my camera don't cut off again. It's pissing me off. She don't understand that it's not in my best interest to lie to her about nothing. If I want her back, if I want her to trust me, that's what I have to do. I have to tell the fucking truth. Period. I asked, I asked her for her reasoning for not wanting me to have any other girls that I'm messing around with around my kids or our kids. And her reasoning was that, well, they they get a, they get attached easy, you know, and they, um, it's it can kind of fuck them up a little bit if you get they get attached and then they never see that person again, you know. Which I can understand that, you know, I can see that point, and I would have to agree, but it goes both ways. You can't be having another guy around them that you're messing around with. It's not fair to them. So, okay, fine. And I never, I haven't. <laughs> I haven't had another girl around them that I've slept with. Or was going to sleep with. But I gotta suffer. You know, I'm the one that has to sit here and think about all this shit. Because I'm not allowed to get mad. I'm not allowed to be upset. Because this is why she doesn't tell me half this shit. And it's like, you know it's gonna upset me. Yet you tell me that you have something on your mind. And I'm trying to get it. I'm trying to get it from you, whatever it is, so we could talk about it. And once you bring it up, and I do my best to try to talk about it, you say, well, this is why. And it's like, no, I'm trying to talk about it. I'm not angry. I'm not screaming and yelling at you. I'm just trying to figure it out. I'm trying to figure it out with you, because that's what we are supposed to do. You can't sit here and, and tell me that any of that is true, but you also can't sit here and tell me that any of it's false. So go straight to the source. That's me. Go straight to the source. That's those women out there. If you really want to know the truth, I mean, the women probably aren't, they're probably not even going to acknowledge it. But me, I will because I don't have, it would be pretty fucking stupid for me to lie to you about anything. For real. This is 
is one girl in particular. I'm about to delete her fucking ass off my Facebook and block her. Because I don't want nothing to do with her now. I tried to get her to come to my house a few weeks back. This was before Courtney ever moved back in. And I had the kids at the time. You know, so it would have been me being a, a going against Courtney's wishes, but she never showed, so I didn't feel the need to tell Courtney that, and I left that out, and that's lying by omission, that's, I wasn't exactly trying to hide it, I mean, I told her just that, I just told her the truth, that's why. I didn't say nothing about it. So, it never happened. Never, she never came over. And now I'm about to block her fucking ass because she's, she's a flaker. She always flakes out on this shit. Says, oh, well, you took my right to be a godmother away. And I'm like, that's because you stopped coming around, bitch. Sorry. I'm not going to have someone in and out, in and out of my life, in and out, in and out of my life. Especially with the kids around, because the kids, like she said, they get very easily attached. They're, I don't know, very emotional. Sensitive kids, you know. And I sit here. And I gotta suffer. Not just with the thought of all this stuff, knowing that I'm telling the fucking truth. But with the thought of... <sighs> Where do we go from here? Because I... I have no reason. I have no reason to fucking lie to her. None. I got nothing to hide. She knows everything about me, you know? I, I don't, I just don't get it. There's a lot of things that she would think I'd lie about, but I told her the straight up fucking truth. So why would I lie about that little itty bitty thing on purpose? So I told her, I'm just going to tell you that instead of hiding it and lying by omission, I'll just tell you I don't feel comfortable talking about it right now. It's a pretty simple solution, I think. But these people that are going around talking shit about me and lying when they, they don't know shit. They don't know nothing about me. They don't hang out with me. They're not in my life. What in the fuck? How can she not see that these people are toxic? They're just trying to stir the fucking pot. And it's working. She's allowing it to happen. She's letting it work. Which is... That's on her, I guess. But... Yeah. That's all I can say.